Welcome to our channel today. We're here with another amazing video. Today's video will bless you in no small way. If you have yet to subscribe to our channel, please subscribe and also click on the notification button below so you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. If you feel this video can bless someone, kindly join us to spread the gospel to the world. Please sit back, watch, and enjoy. We're going to have a little Q&A and I'll respond and maybe uh, on one or two occasions we can allow one or two people to respond. The questions will bless many of us because it will answer, it will attempt to answer or solve some of the puzzles that are around our lives. I don't want our spiritual lives to be um, without accuracy. Some of us may have been making the same mistake for a long time. That's why we are not getting certain results spiritually. Hallelujah. Some of us may be pressing into God for instance. There are people who press into God, but necessarily they find out that they are always backsliding. Not that they are sleeping around or doing anything immoral, but that staying power is like there is a spiritual meter. Every time you get to a dimension, it pulls you back. You are making progress, but the graph is not straight. It's like it goes up, forces you down. Then you have to pray and fast your way. There are many of us who do not know how to command strength in the spirit. Like a gentleman who, uh, I think someone sent me a text. I don't know if he's here. He sent me a text in the afternoon. Um, and he said every time he's in the presence of God or anytime he's talking to people about the glory of God, he starts yawning mysteriously, like yawning. And um, some of you are already nodding in agreement. It's happening to me too. What is the meaning of that? <laughs> are you yawning out demons? Are you absorbing the glory? What exactly is happening? So, um, Please be smart. Don't be rude to the protocol people. Just walk as they direct you. We're going to have a few questions. Um, I will use the questions. Some of the questions will actually culminate to teachings. And I'll use the opportunity and just address things. Don't be biased. Make sure that you ask things that are relevant. If your question is not relevant to our meeting, we'll ignore it. Is that all right? Let's pray in one minute and say, Father, speak to me. Go ahead and pray. Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Okay, so um, we'll come in threes. We'll just have the first three. They will stand and then if there's any need. So let me see by wave of hands. I'll point people out. Okay, number one, you can stand up, come. Second, number two, and then um, let's have a lady figure. Alright, that lady waving her hands in blue. Come quickly. Appreciate them as they come. Be smart. Tell us your name straight to the point if you're wasting our time please we'll, we'll send you to your seat let me tell you in advance so you are not embarrassed go ahead turn to the congregation god bless you go ahead okay good evening sir is it working yes sir um good evening sir thank you yes, bless sir. you yes sir my question is um about visions visions yes sir what, what are they visions okay yes sir what are they and are visions a sign of spiritual growth okay. that's um, like spiritual visions are they limited to a particular set of people people who do not have them as frequently as are they growing? yes are they is it a sign that they are growing okay I, I want to visions are a dimension of supernatural encounters right um, there are many levels dimensions and types of supernatural encounters Visions are just um, a dimension of supernatural encounters that affords a person an opportunity to access realities in the spirit. It could be realities that reveal the past, the present, or the future. You understand? It could also be realities that expose that person to um, spiritual happenings. Now, the whole goal of visions, and, and I want us to pay attention, the whole goal of visions and encounters, any supernatural encounter is prophetic in its dimension. Are we together now? So every time we talk of prophecy, it's not just speaking. Any encounter that exposes you to access any realm beyond the physical 
is a prophetic dimension so in every man there is a prophetic dimension let me call it a latent prophetic dimension now those who are called into the prophetic or apostolic office the advantage of the apostolic office is that on the strength of that office you can walk you should walk in all the fivefold offices because it's an administrative office it heads and coordinates the spiritual activities are we together now but in a typical prophetic office by default the moment you there is an election of grace upon you inclined towards that prophetic office there are it's like spiritual configurations by default are we together now now your spiritual life and your spiritual growth can add to it but anybody called into the prophetic office or any dimension of prophetic operations by default can be open to the realm of the spirit that's why you can find people seeing visions who are not born again are we together now remember he told jeremiah the prophet he said while you were in your mother's womb i had already called you and ordained you to be a prophet are, are we clear now so visions and generally all supernatural encounters are a dimension of the prophetic and the goal of visions dreams is illumination and direction sometimes also impartation it gives you illumination access to light and information right sometimes it gives you direction but in many cases it also comes with impartation that's why some of us can have dreams have visions encounters we don't exactly know why they came but they leave residues of impartations as we get up and begin our normal life we see that certain possibilities in the spirit has been activated and we may not know at what point it was activated like wisdom like certain virtues do you understand so now but that does not mean listen if you are truly growing spiritually right even if you are not called into the prophetic dimension or prophetic realm if you are growing spiritually the the presence of god has a prophetic effect on everyone whether you're a prophet or not this is the reason why somebody on the strength of sheer intimacy with the holy spirit can access a level that will make him look like a prophet but in reality he's not a prophet he's just one who has pressed into god to an appreciable dimension it's like an aura of god's presence now the bible does not use visions and dreams to qualify spiritual growth although experience has shown us that as you progress spiritually you will begin to um, get impulses it's called spiritual perception in fact i preached a message on that you can get it with the media after the service are we are we understanding now because there are some of us here who are praying we love god but aside from dreams and maybe what we call intuition what people like kenneth hagen will call the knowing of the spirit we've not had any supernatural encounter as it were and sometimes we get intimidated and i think i must correct that because some of us get intimidated because someone is now talking and saying um um Ogashe saw something and he's prophesying and he's saying oh i saw something and you you are standing frustrated that you do not have visionary encounters in terms of um encounters you are awake you are alive and you are caught up or a picture comes before you or the audible voice of god or some kind of supernatural encounters it does not mean you are not growing spiritually are we together now there are two spiritual indices to measure spiritual growth number one is your degree of conformity into the image of the christ that's the first biblical sign of spiritual growth so if you are born again and there is no transformation in you you are not conforming to the image of christ believe me your salvation is questionable in fact let me let me press on this before we continue there are many people who think they are born again and and please i don't want you to doubt your salvation but i must be sincere with you there are many people who think they are born again and i tell you the truth by the lord they are not they are not saved the meaning of that is if they die today they are going to hell are we together now please don't don't trivialize salvation salvation is the is the supplanting of the very life of god in a mortal man are we together the bible says you are born of the incorruptible seed remember of the word of god so there is a seed 
the same way a man plants a seed in his wife what do you expect that seed to do there should be fertilization is that true and eventually as time progresses that seed right begins to produce so you cannot tell me you are born again listen that you are born again the life of christ is in you and you are exposed to the atmosphere of the spirit and progressively we do not see after a prolonged period of time evidences of conformity to the image of christ something is wrong with that salvation are we together now so it's very very important so that's one index the second index is your degree of comprehension the degree to which you are having understanding on the principles and the mysteries of the kingdom so that your degree of conformity to what degree do i see christ in you in fact paul puts it this way he said my little children of whom i travail until christ be formed in you he was talking to people who were already saved so conformity to the image of christ and access to the principles and the mysteries of the kingdom these two will naturally produce empowerment impartation access to the anointing